Hello, Mark Crossfield here today. I've got the bladed iron in my hand and I've also got the big chunky cavity back. So we're gonna give these two irons a hit and see what one offers more playability. So I'm gonna try and move the ball from left to right, right to left. We've got Trap Man on. Which one offers more playability? Obviously the bladed is the one advertisers doing so. So let's put it to the test. My name's Mark Crossfield. Let's get stuck in. So, big chunky cavity, VRS from Nike, hitting up against the VR Pro, the bladed offering. Which one's going to be easier for me to shape the ball with? The reason I'm doing this video, and the reason I'm keeping it with Nike, is I was at the Open on Tuesday at Livam for the practice round, and Tiger turns up on the 18th, gets out a long iron in a VRS forge, so it's a big chunky iron, and he just hits this lovely kind of 15 yard, 20 yard, quite powerful fade. So almost aims it at the crowd on the left and zips it back off and down onto the fairway. And he's using a big cavity iron. And obviously the, the, the story always for people with bladed irons is often they're saying they can shape the ball a bit better, all those kind of things. So look, here we go, let's put it to the test. We've got Trap Man on and we're going to look at distance from the flag. So I'm going to try and hit the flag to make it more realistic to the target. And I'm going to try and get certain numbers on spin axis. So spin axis is how the ball is tilting on its side to spin through the air, which you would know more as fade and draw spin. So a positive figure is a fade and a negative figure in spin axis is a, is a drawing shot. So first shot I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for a positive four. So I'm going to try and fade the ball about five yards in the air, five to ten yards in the air for a positive four spin axis. Here we go. Let's give it a go. This is my bladed pro iron which in theory should be easier to maneuver okay that's not far off it's a little left didn't quite get all the spin so i'm happy with that 5.4 degree spin axis going for four i'm close enough with that and then i've got side 3.1 meters to the left of the flag so that is a gentle fade into target. So let's do the opposite then. Let's see if I can get minus four spin axis, which is more of a gentle draw into target. Slightly overturned it, but it's getting the shape I want. Side 11.6 meter to the left. Spin axis minus 10 point. So minus, minus 10 spin axis, so too aggressive and I've gone 11 left because I've spun it too much. Let's give that one more go, just try and take a bit of that off. That was a little bit too aggressive on the draw. Yeah, that's closer. That's moving about the right amount in the air. So 7.5 meters left. And spin axis minus five. So I'm shaping that, I'm moving that really to how I want to subject to me practicing a bit more and hitting those numbers more regular. I, had to I took two goes, but I got the numbers I want. So here we go, chunky. Let's try and fade it the five degrees. So we're now going back to the positive five in the spin axis. Okay, not bad. I've slightly let it slip. I didn't start it enough up the left. I've got the fade though. 8.8 8 meters right. Spin axis 9.5, so slightly too heavy, but I got the desired spin I want. It was just slightly too much. In theory, these should be harder to move, not easier to move more. Let's give it another go. That's closer. Wind's off the left today, unfortunately, so it's making that one drift. So 9.7 spin axis, so more spin, and 13 right. So I'm going to get one more go. Let's see if I can just hit this a little bit calmer on the fade spin. Go on, keep going. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's the one. Perfect. 4.3 meters left. And then 3.1 on the spin axis. So again, very similar. So it took me three goes there. I think a lot of that is me. Um, but the ones that were spinning, they weren't spinning too, not enough. They were actually spinning too much. This club's meant to be harder to manoeuvre. In theory, that's manoeuvring 
more. So I'm now going to go for the minus four spin axis, which is the gentle draw on the target. Didn't quite turn it over, unfortunately, to push that. 15.7 meters to the right spin. 5.8 degrees. Got that one quite wrong. 5.8 degrees. Positive spin where I'm going for minus, and I got 15 right. So let's actually try and get some draw on this one. There we go. Leave it wind. That's coming back. 6.2 to the right. 6.2 to the spin right. Axis Spin axis 1.5 positive again. So last one. So you can see this is getting, this is taking me more time with this club to hit my numbers. So I can't hit target as easy. I've got the spin on that one. So there's the minus eight. And then 11 to the left. So you can see from that for me is that certainly the blade is easier to actually move smaller amounts. Um, where the junkier iron for me was either moving big amounts and harder for me to find those smaller numbers. So when they say that the, the smaller bladed irons are easier to maneuver. So again, let's go and go plus four with the bladed. That's spot on. And it's at target. It's about one right. Zero point nine meters to the right. Spin axis three point nine degrees. To zero point nine. I mean, less than a meter right, and three point nine worth of spin. I went for four. So I mean, that's on the money. Again, VRS chunky should be harder. Yeah, I've leaked that. Again, lots of that is me. Five, ten, point two to so the right. push to the right. Spin. 5 got the correct amount of spins. So that's more par for club. So for me, out of the two clubs, I definitely find it a bit easier to manoeuvre left to right the bladed option. I actually find it easier to move the, uh, cut the cavity easier to bigger degrees rather than those fine angles. To be honest with you, the fine angles, when you look down at these bladed clubs, the sharper lines, makes it easier for me to picture my face and my puff and to line up to my target where the bigger head, rounded head, when you're trying to get really accurate, I find it a little harder. It's a, it's a little harder to see the angles and the lines that I want, which I can see much more with my bladed club. So look, for me, for a longer iron, like I was seeing Tiger, definitely I'm going to be pimping my long iron up into something powerful, big and chunky. I feel I can maneuver it enough and a lot if I want to, which is exactly what we saw Tiger do. But certainly coming down in my shorter irons, six iron downwards, I want control. The bladed option for me offers that fraction more control. Let me know what you think, guys. I'll be interested in hearing what you've got to say. Post your comments. Um, if you use bladed and try cavity, if you've got combo sets and it works for you, Tiger's using it, why shouldn't we all be? Let me know what you think. Post comments and thank you for watching. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.